Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out today's video. In today's video, I'm bringing you some brand new War Robots content to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be taking a look at the brand new weapon called Atomizer. Now this weapon was introduced with this most recent update to War Robots through the special delivery system of the new Cyber Show event. So right now that is currently the only way to get your hands on the Atomizer, but uh, I'm sure there will be additional ways in the uh, near future. But uh, anyway, one thing that uh, I really wanted to kind of go over with the new Atomizer weapon because there is kind of some talk back and forth between folks uh, out there on social media. Some are saying it's not going to become meta. I personally think it will become meta. And let me tell you why. Okay, first, before I get into any uh, gameplay or my uh, hangar or anything like that, I wanted to explain to you that uh, the reason I believe this is going to be a meta weapon is because one it's a strong weapon um, whether it's OP or not I'm not sure I haven't really had much time on the live server with it but most players on war robots tend to be brawlers but right now after the nerf to the shotguns there is no longer a viable brawling weapon that has sustained fire capability so this weapon fills that role, and it is currently the only weapon that I believe can fill that role right now. Um, now, there are some light and heavy versions of this weapon that have been on the test server recently, uh, but they're not live yet. So what I'm going to be going over today is actually running three different builds using the brand new atomizer weapon i wanted to see how it performs on different robots so i have a couple of them on a tank some of them on a brawler and some of them on a support bot so that's what we're going to be taking a look at now let's go ahead jump into my hangar but before we do if you enjoy some more robots content drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams now let's go ahead and take a look at this hangar. Okay, so here we are, and we are actually on the Battle Rack account today. Uh, the reason being, I don't have any atomizers on my personal account, so I can't show you uh, the gameplay from that account. But uh, let me go ahead and just pop right into my hangar so we can get things moving on. Uh, first up is my Phantom. <laughs> now he is rocking the uh, brand new, I think it's called Graphite paint job. Yep graphite um, it's an amazing looking paint job I really like the way it looks and uh, I stacked him up with some of the uh, sinister rhymes and sinister cryo just because it really seems to match the uh, overall theme of the robot plus it's gonna be a strong build uh, now here's the first one that uh, I am using atomizers on and this is the uh, new nightingale and a quick look at the atomizer itself in detail these are the stats 1330 damage per bullet uh, 500 meter range uh, says that it's an energy machine gun with unlimited ammo high accuracy makes it effective at medium range but the gun overheats and becomes less accurate after long bursts um, and you'll see that in the gameplay where as the longer I'm firing the weapon the hotter it gets and once it overheats you're really not hitting too much outside of like 50 meters so we'll have to uh, see how that uh, plays into it here um, moving on We've got a leech running uh, four atomizers. Now this is going to be like more of the brawling style robot. Um, and uh, I imagine this is gonna be putting out some pretty good damage. We've got uh, an June in here running some uh, sinister glaciers. And we have uh, finally a Fenrir, which is the tank. And I'm running uh, atomizer with an Avenger. I think it's just gonna pair nicely and uh, Honestly, I think this build is going to do quite well since the majority of the time when you're a tank, you are facing robots point blank range. So I don't think he's really going to be brought down too much from the uh, loss of accuracy when firing. Um, one other thing that I did want to point out here with the, uh, the Nightingale is I paired it up with a Shredder. Now... They're both energy machine gun style weapons. Uh, the Shredder is the same range. And I think having that lockdown is going to be very helpful uh, as a support bot. So we'll uh, see how well this does. 
But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and just uh, jump into some gameplay for you guys. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen uh, any atomizers out there in the live server yet, uh, gone against them, or maybe you guys have been lucky enough to actually win one in the new event. Uh, if that's the case, definitely drop a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on them. Okay, so here we are. We are dropping in on Springfield, and this is Beacon Rush. Going to start off here with the uh, nice-looking Phantom, and uh, we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into with these new atomizers. So I'm going to try and come up here and pick up this uh, right-side beacon. And looks like they have three over on their side of the platform. And they have one challenging in center. It looks like we able to pick that up. Let's uh, get around here and work on this hover. He's going to have a bad day here in just a minute. There we go. Go ahead and try and just push over here. I don't really need the uh, the beacon, but I want to keep pressure on them and uh, knock out their uh, ranged leech here. Oh, that double phase shift looks like it saved him. That's all right. Uh, let me go ahead and bring in the leech now. We'll see how this does. Looks like somebody just threw the kitchen sink back there. Uh, here's 500 meters. Whoa, that did some pretty good damage. Really good damage at uh, 500 meters. Or, not really 500 meters, but... I'm just gonna come over here. I'm not actually gonna try and take their beacon. I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time here. Really good damage on these weapons. Now, I was a little aggressive in my push, but, uh, whoa. <clears throat> yeah, I was just a little bit too aggressive in that push. I just really wanted to test them out. So now I'm going to go ahead and drop in with the uh, Nightingale and see how it does with the uh, support roll. Looks like I've got a uh, buddy over there that I can try and get healed up. Let's go ahead and uh, suppress this one. Drop some heals onto, uh, my teammate. Now let's go ahead and drop down and lay into this guy. Or this one. And you can see here that the uh, accuracy really gets pretty crazy. Okay, looks like they've got an Al Ming over there now. So I need to uh, watch out for that. Might even actually try and get over there and push it. Here we go. Go ahead and uh, suppress him. Try and keep him suppressed. There we go. And get some free shots on him, maybe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue firing, even though it's not as accurate, just because the uh, Titan is so big of a hitbox that uh, I'm still able to get some good damage on it. And you can see these are actually doing really decent damage. See if we can't get him taken down. There we go. I think this guy uh, lost some connection over here or something. He's not moving. Go ahead and uh, suppress this guy. Get around the corner and get after this leech. 
Got him locked down there. Should be uh, pretty easy to uh, take out. There we go. Looks like we did lose the uh, platforms though, so we need to, uh, I guess, push back. There we go. Go ahead and suppress him, suppress him. There we go. Just gonna try and keep them suppressed. Work my way over here. There we go. Shouldn't have turned around, buddy. There we go. All right, so this is actually a really nice build. Um, it feels pretty nice anyway. As far as uh, running it here with the uh, suppression and the lockdown just seems to be very effective. Suppress him, suppress him. Start working my suppression on this guy again. Let's see, what else do we have going on? All right. And we still have the uh, beacon advantage, so I'm not gonna worry too much. All right. Looks like my teammate has another uh, Nightingale and uh, suppress this guy. So let me go ahead and uh, repay the favor and suppress this Titan for him. And maybe this guy as well. Whoa. Wasn't able to get him suppressed. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot right through to my uh, last stand. I don't want to spend too much more time in this robot because it really doesn't put out a whole lot of damage for my team. Got an Arthur over here. He's suppressed. Got the kid suppressed. And wow, that's gonna be the uh, match. So uh, overall, as far as the uh, the atomizer build there with the uh, um, nightingale, it was a lot of fun uh, and actually very effective. I mean, you could see that it was it was uh, actually doing some decent damage when I was using the weapons uh, and combining that uh, with the lockdown uh, from the shredder was uh, a really good pairing and uh, added just a little more utility to the. Um, to the Nightingale. So uh, overall, that was actually pretty good, but I didn't get through all of my robots, so I'm definitely going to have to uh, drop into another battle for you guys. Okay, good map. Uh, this time we are dropping in some Beacon Rush on Castle. Start off here with my Phantom. And try and pick up that, uh, that Bridge Beacon. It's usually pretty well contested. It looks like they've got uh, at least half of their team going that direction. So let's see if we can't uh, get over here. Guess that guy had second thoughts. Try and get him with some splash damage here. Nice. That is uh, one really good thing about the uh, cryo weapons is their splash damage. It's great. Right and uh, counter heal, got my ability back. Should be able to, uh, whoop. There goes that guy. Oh no, he's, uh, he's in a phantom. But he doesn't have his ability up right now, so he should go down. Got another phantom. Wow, lots of phantoms on the field right now. Need to uh, get some reload going. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and get out of this robot. Um, try and take down the uh, kitchen sink here. There we go. And save, save the robot just a little longer so I can get some damage onto this leech. Got my ability coming up and his ability is coming down. So there we go. Go ahead and uh, try and get him off the field and go down. Okay. 
Take me out. I need another robot. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and drop in with the uh, leech once more. I'll try not to be quite as aggressive. But uh, I really want to see how this leech does brawling with these. So I'm going to have to be somewhat aggressive. I'm going to try and sneak across the uh, bridge over here with my teammate. Take advantage of his shield if he's uh, got it available. And it looks like they're just going to give up the uh, beacon. There we go. So uh, Aljun is going to land right in front of me. Great. He doesn't even know where I'm at. Need to uh, let these cool down. There we go. So firing them in burst definitely helps to uh, maintain their accuracy. What do we have over here? A Titan. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take these shots from the side. And then uh, work my way around and try and get behind them. to get suppressed, but uh, it didn't really matter. And let the weapons cool down once more. It's like a uh, tear right there. Need to uh, get over here to safety. Try and get an angle on uh, the kid. Not gonna get me, buddy. Let's see if I can't use my pilot ability to get up here a little quicker. There we go. Good damage, wow. I'm not really trying to get their beacon here. There we go. Give, uh, give my weapons a uh, chance to cool down. And take him down. There we go. So we're getting lots of uh, kills here. So we've got a uh, another leech. Oh, match is over. Man, I was really wanting to get a piece of that uh, Al Ming there. But a uh, quick look here at the damage. And most of this damage was actually done with, uh, with that... Uh, leech with the uh, atomizer so you can see it's actually a very strong build uh, on something like a leech so definitely capable of brawling especially knife fighting face to face uh, going at it uh, definitely a very very strong build um, but uh, good job to uh, to the Reds for uh, putting up a, a decent fight over there and uh, great job over here on the blue team for keeping the pressure on them and uh, pulling out the win now we still haven't seen a <laughs> seen the uh, the tank robot, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, drop into another match, and I've got to be able to get this uh, Fenrir into the mix. Okay, so here we are dropping into another Beacon Rush, this time on Rome map. So uh, getting some pretty decent maps on this one. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, start off here with the Phantom, and uh, try and give my team a chance at uh, picking up some beacons. Looks like a few other Phantoms with me over here. Got a uh, Loki on the field, so gonna have to be pretty careful with that. Go ahead and uh, lay into this guy here. Into his last stand. There we go. Get some uh, reloads going for myself. Take him out. All right. Where did that, uh, where did the Loki go? I'm not sure. Go ahead and, uh, get after this, uh, chubby over here. 
be able to uh, finish him off. Maybe, maybe not. Go ahead and use my ability. There we go. A couple of extra rounds to finish him. And ooh, get into uh, his shield and say hello. And I'm trying to play a little bit aggressive here just because I want to get through this robot. There we go. So now let me go ahead and actually drop in with the Fenrir because I want to make sure that uh, I actually get to use him this time. There we go. Start a counter heal. He's at last stand. Give this a chance to cool down a bit here. There we go. Taken down. Good damage here on this guy. Nice. Just really ate through that uh, T Falcon. Or actually, I don't think that was a T Falcon. Trying to use my cover. Weapons are cool. And his ability is about to drop, so let's take him out. Now, not very accurate at long range, but like I said uh, at the beginning of this, uh, it's not really what I'm planning on doing uh, with the Fenrir. I'm going to be uh, mainly using it here at... Uh, closer range. Go ahead and uh, counter heal, and just uh, keep on pushing right into this guy here. His shield is busted. And still getting good damage even though I'm overheated. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about with the uh, overheating. It's not so much of a big deal because it's uh, going to be mostly some face-to-face -face fighting. So try to get to some cover. It's coming out. There we go. damage on this guy. He is straying very close, which is very good for me. Oh, tried to uh, save my last stand. Didn't quite work. Alright, so there's another one over here. Just trying to uh, hit him as much as I can. Not going to be able to get uh, a ton of damage on him. Let me actually back up here. Well, got cut up on that building. Not good. Some uh, damage on the kid there while his ability is down. Get back to my uh, main weapon as well. There we go. And try and get some, uh, some uh, damage on this guy before I go down. There we go. Now he's going to have a hard time targeting me because I am right under him, so let's go ahead and uh, get him finished, counter heal, and he's about to go down. Get him. Oh, so close. Okay, well, we need a uh, beacon, so I'm going to drop in with the uh, Nightingale now. Go ahead and suppress that guy, suppress him. Unfortunately, it was a little too late for my uh, teammate. Suppress him. And uh, drop down to get the uh, beacon here. There we go. Go ahead and get as much damage on him as I can. We're able to uh, pick up that beacon, which is good. Was able to uh, lock this guy down and suppress him. So let's go ahead and uh, try to. Uh, um, Kind of stuck. All right. Let's go ahead and get some damage on here. Get him to his last stand would be great. There we go. And let's go ahead and defend this beacon over here with this leech. 
There we go. Really good damage with this. That was an easy kill there. This is gonna hurt. There we go. Trying to get some uh, damage on that Ares, but he's hiding behind his buddy. Alright, that was way overheated. Nice. Still able to take him out. And this uh, Arthur is having a hard time hitting me because of where his weapons are placed. There we go. So uh, finish him off and now let's go ahead and uh, get in here and just go at this guy point blank. Nice. So uh, even at point blank range, uh, when it's <laughs> when it overheats, it doesn't really matter. You're doing some massive damage. A uh, quick look here at the uh, tail of the tape, though. That was a, that was a really good match. I was able to get uh, all of the different bots in that time. Um, sorry, I can't uh, can't uh, take that invite. But uh, quick look here: 3.8 million, nine kills, five beacons. Uh, great job there to the uh, blue team for sticking it out. Uh, looks like. Uh, Pilot, Pilotus on the other team put up a hell of a fight, pulling in 4.4 million. Um, but uh, you know, it was a uh, it was a tough match, um, and uh, great job to uh, both sides. But uh, just to wrap things up and kind of summarize uh, what I'm talking about here with the atomizer, uh, you know, I was able to show you that it can be extremely effective for brawling, for tanking which I guess is is also brawling but uh, on something like a Fenrir uh, it's definitely a very effective weapon uh, the leech very powerful with four of these atomizers and then we've got uh, you know I also had it there in the uh, support robot with the nightingale and it was extremely effective uh, especially when I paired him up with the uh, the shredder there uh, having lockdown capability having healing capability and having the uh, suppression capability all on one robot is just crazy so um great combination highly recommended to you if you're looking for a uh, you know possible new setup uh, after the uh, recent rebalances but uh, i think that is going to wrap it up everybody hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to mash that like button and until the next one chief out <laughs>